Now we're going to take a look at a very basic sweep from the closed guard, the pendulum sweep. This can be a difficult sweep to do from a standard uh, static position, but it's important for all of our other moves. This, this pendulum hip movement is important for our arm bars, it's important for our pendulum sweeps, it's important for our uh, amaplata entries, and you'll see it return over and over in your jiu-jitsu. So while you might not have a lot of success with this movement, the reason we teach it now is that we can build that movement and make a foundation for all of your other moves. I've caught Marty in my closed guard. I really want to hit that pendulum sweep. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to control on the outside of the sleeve. There are some people that say to control by the elbow, it will give you more power. I really like that. The problem is he can take his hand and post his hand. I've had some uh, unfortunate times with that. So I like to control a little bit closer down here. And this hand is going to come over and control as close as I can to his ankle. We'll see that from another angle. Okay. Now here is where people mess up. They come here, they try to hook that leg, and they try to push. You really have to get some good hip movement by opening up your hips. At first, you're definitely going to have to communicate to your partner to let your hips freely move. This will be a sweep that you feel the opportunity for it to come along while rolling. It's not something that you'll force, not at least in my experience, okay? So we're controlling here. I'm going to sit up a little bit. I'm going to open my hips, and my hips come all the way up. Notice how far my bottom comes out, almost at a 90 degree angle. I want to make sure to open my hips and my leg comes all the way up past my head. You'll also notice that when I sit up, it makes it easier for me to get some rock so that my hips will elevate just a little bit. I want to get the friction of my hips off the ground. Once I get that leg all the way out, I'm going to arc it back inside and it's going to catch down here close to his legs. The lower that you can get your pendulum sweep to catch to the floor, the more power it will have but the more danger you have in bouncing off the floor and losing power. So I tell my students to usually aim for that crease between their thigh and their calf. All right, I get control, I get control, I open my hips, my hips come all the way out. Now from here, my leg is gonna arc back in at the same time as I lift with the leg and pull with the arm. There are a lot of moving parts to this, okay? I'm here, I come down, and I lift up. Notice when I lift, I've got this illegal grip, ignore that. When I lift, I'm driving my pelvis into his chest and I'm making sure to keep his leg off the ground. If he wants to bridge me over and continue that motion, it's gonna be very difficult with only one leg. Does that make sense? Pushing forward, you're cutting his bridging power in half by keeping this leg off the floor. I control that sleeve, and you'll notice I'll get as close to the ankle as possible. I don't say take an illegal grip, but if you happen to grab one in the heat of the moment, it kind of just happens, okay? I'm telling you officially to get one tenth of a centimeter from the end of his pant leg, okay? If your fingers come over the top, watch out. You don't want to lose any fingers. So now I'm going to sit up and rock, and I open my hips. Notice they come all the way out. From here, I'm going to arc this leg back underneath, and I push. I come up on top. Pelvis nice and low, holding onto the leg. Controlling the sleeve, I get the arm. From here, I open those hips, I arc back under, and I come up on top. Again, keeping that leg off the floor. For those larger, guys in your school and they want to practice this, we're going to give them the training wheels. Okay? I don't typically teach this until the second day when we're reviewing it because I really want them to focus on that hip movement. But if you just can't get it, training wheels is the arm bar position. I come here, sit at a little bit of a 45. You'll notice the hardest part is clearing your hips out. If you have them walk into the arm bar position first. One, two, I grab the leg. It will be very easy for them to arc that leg back out because their hips will be already open. But as I said at the beginning, the reason we teach this one we do to the beginners is so that we can work on that hip movement. I don't want people to be discouraged. I don't want them to think it doesn't work. But if you think about it, when the time you most often see the pendulum sweep, is when you hit that failed arm bar, they start to stack you. You don't wait until they stack you all the way, you pendulum sweep them. So build faith in this by showing them this later on, but make sure that they really try to work on that hip movement first.